How are you? And I'm just going to fix my scarf. I'm going to just tag this onto the beginning of my French video and I just want to show you the things that I bought for my Parisian chic video in true life. Um, one of the first things I bought with this really cool leather and um, rope belt. It's a man's belt and it's stretchy and it's huge but what I love about it is that you could wrap it around a blazer or a sweater or a dress to get a whole different look. Um, one of the items that I already had in my closet was this huge Timex watch. This is, I love this watch. This was a gift from my ex-boyfriend who is kind of like an ex-husband. We were together for 10 years and we were like best friends even though we're no longer together. And this Timex is called the 1854. I saw this in, um, this way. I saw this Timex watch in Cosmopolitan magazine. They had it as uh, one of the most fashionable watches you can buy, and I think this was like in 2013 or 12. I love this watch. And so when you read Parisian Chic and she talks about wearing a man's watch, this one totally suits the bill. It is a They don't have this watch anymore, I don't think. They may have one similar. This is a collectible watch. It's heavy. I had it fitted to my wrist at, I think, Jared's Jewelers, but just love this watch. So that was one of the accessories. One of the accessories that you will see in the video is that I have on a long denim trench as opposed to a classic beige trench. Um, I just thought that was a cool change out and very French because denim is always in in Europe as it is most anywhere else. Okay, for um, $4.99 I got this cute H&M men's wear. It's a woman's but it's a men's wear um, boyfriend sweater and I love it. One of the things that drew me to it was it has these cute little pockets with the wood buttons and this would be great over a dress or a white shirt or jeans. It's good, it goes longer than your hip. I really love that and thank you for letting me show you these things. I don't have a lot of pictures. My mom has been here all week and tomorrow we're going to Galena, Illinois and we're gonna spend a couple days. I can't wait to show you those pictures. One of my best flight attendant friends sells lip scents and I am dying to show you this product. So my next video is gonna be a lip scents tutorial and it's a funny story that I'll let you know in that video about how I even found out about lip scents and it was kind of like a coincidence um, with another flight attendant. So another thing I got was this polka dot black and white dress. Now, in the book Parisian Chic, Anaise de la Fransage, I always, Fransage, I always hope I say that right, had a cute little um, polka dot dress. Now, it wasn't the same jersey knit as this dress. It was more like um, a polyester rayon dress because it had a little more movement to it and it was a lighter fabric. But she had it on with the boyfriend sweater in olive and it was so beautiful and the navy would be just as nice. But I got this. Um, it's a Land's End on Pierre waist dress. I love it. It was a petite and I'm not petite. I'm 5'6". But honestly because I kind of have a short waist and I look good and um, that's the smallest part of my body. Um, the petite fits me always perfectly in the waist so I can wear petite and it really wasn't that short. It was just like an inch above my knee as opposed to being just at my knee. Another thing I got was this Faded Glory. Now this is a Walmart brand but look at this lawn. It's a lawn blue lawn button down shirt. And this would be great just with jeans tucked in with a belt. It's great as a jacket. It's great. I can tie it over a dress. I just love button down shirts. I got this adorable 
bag um, with the studs, which I thought was so a la French in the sense that it's just it's just attractive and you can use it as, as, as a clutch, but it has these unexpected studs on them. So if you wore something really girly and then you have this kind of like hard, like leather studs on this, I mean the metal studs on this bag. And here's the part that cracks me up. All right, it probably is a knockoff of a Chanel bag. And the name of the brand of this bag is Hanel. My girlfriend, I was sharing this bag with her and telling her it's a Hanel. We busted out laughing because it's probably a knockoff of a Chanel. It's a Hanel. But what a cute little bag. It looks like real leather. You would never know. And, and it really does. It looks like real leather. It has a cute little zipper. And I love that you could use it as a clutch. Now this chain uh, detaches. So it's both a clutch and an over the shoulder um, crossbody bag or just over the shoulder. Well, no, couldn't be a crossbody bag, but an over the shoulder bag. And I fell in love with it. And then the last thing that I bought was this, let me see if there's anything else I bought. I think that was it. This MNG Mango, and this is their more expensive line with this little MNG Mango. I've always loved their things. And this is just a simple navy blazer. It's a navy blazer. And what I love about it, and I'll hold it up a little closer, is it has this really cool, you know, I gave myself a manicure last night and I didn't polish my nails. I just buffed them and filed them and I'm going to polish them today. But already, look, my cuticles are a mess. I'm so sorry. That's life. But this has a cute um, stitching, like that cute little... I, there's a name for the stitching because there is a sewing machine by, that Baby Lock puts out that does this type of stitch, stitching, but it's almost like hand, it's a handmade kind of stitch. And it really gives this blazer some extra panache and style. So I'm just going to show you a quick video of the outfits. I took all of my own pictures myself. Um, it was a lot of fun. I loved my mother's outfits. They were so beautiful. Uh, and I hope you go over to her channel, over60withsandra.com, to check out her video. I helped her do some of her pictures. But again, thank you for just letting me show you these items without doing a bigger production because I just want to get this video up and share with you the really cool stuff that I found. All together, for this whole look, I think I spent $35. And I added, you'll see in the video, I added my white pants. I have a navy crew neck cotton sweater from L.L. Bean that I love. And let me tell you, their new catalog came out. They have, they brought back a sweater that in the 90s I was so in love with. It's the, um, the shaker knit and it's just so fun. So they have a shaker knit cardigan, they have a shaker knit v-neck, and they have a shaker knit turtleneck with the seam seaming here at the shoulders. I love those sweaters because they're soft, they're cozy, they're great in the fall, they're great in the winter, and they just bring me back to that, to back to the 90s or in the late 80s when people were wearing those sweaters, and they're just so cozy and you know I'm into cozy if you've been to my teddybearspot.com website. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. And stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to do my lip scents. And let me just show you. My flight attendant friend gave me the lip scents in this adorable little bag. I can't wait to try it. Um, and I'll tell you the story of how I even found out about this product in my next video. So thanks so much. Enjoy the little French fashion show and I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you want to get updates. Um, I put out videos twice a week and I promise after this week I'm going to get on a more regular two times a week schedule. I've been a little delayed because I have a lot going on and I'm sure you do too. Um, share it or give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, fly safe and I'll see you next time.
possibilité que de vous donner des bitcoins, des bitcoins. Il me faut du fric, des bitcoins. 